So these look like my needles. This um, this was right next to the float, and it, it moved up and down. You know, a little there's like a little cylinder. Um, not sure if I have any replacement parts for this, but uh, it just slid straight out. So I'm gonna set that guy down. See if that lets the float come out. It does. It allows this whole assembly like this to come out. There's a little black plastic piece. I don't know what this rod is for, but it sits in this black plastic piece. I wouldn't say it looks like new, but it looks way better. That's the inside, that's the bottom. It's the uh, aluminum base plate, so it cleaned up pretty good. It looks, it's probably the best looking piece on here currently, but uh, looks really good. I'm gonna let it uh, dry. I'm gonna wipe it down with a rag, and then uh, 
we'll move on to the next thing.
All right, so it's all back together. Pretty sure I screwed this up. So we're gonna check it out uh, a little further, but um, looks way better. Very happy with the way it looks. Um, don't know if it's gonna perform any better. We'll find out once I get it on the truck, uh, which I don't know, I might do it soon. It is uh, pretty cold out. I'm not gonna be driving it till the spring anyway. I might just leave this off until then. Um, doesn't run the greatest in the cold anyway. But I want to make sure I get this filter and uh, so when I when I go and open this up you can see the top plate is not moving none of the top plates are moving I think there's a bar that is supposed to be connected to this and it's not so if that's the case which I think it is I'll probably have to take all this apart. Um, not exactly all of it. I can leave probably um, the blades and stuff like that, but I think I'm gonna have to take the top plate off. Or at the very least, I'll, I might just be able to just take this whole assembly apart off. I think I actually can. I obviously never tried, but I could probably just pull this off, rearrange it and put it back on, and that'll be it. But. Uh, Pretty pleased how this went um, for not ever taking one of these apart. I, I had a, actually I had a Quadrajet on this car. It was an Edelbrock, brand new one though, so I never had to do anything to it other than uh, just play with the idle and the air fuel stuff uh, to get it to run better. But um, anyway, this is my first dive into one of these. Pretty pleased on how it went. Uh, excited for it to be back on the truck and to drive the truck. So hopefully it has better manners not that it was bad it just maybe it's better but uh for now i guess we'll just cut it off there it's a really long video so I might have already cut this up into sections i guess we'll see um but uh thanks for watching see you guys next time and uh we're out